Hello, and welcome back to The Cove with more EU4 Angular File Achievement. We are planning to go to war with India. It is uh, something that we need to do. We have many acclaims to take, and I plan on taking all of them. However, we do have a little bit of a pickle at this stage. We're trying to release an Albania. We want another prince in the HRE, but it's not going to be orthodox if we let them uh, go at this stage. So we're going to wait till the end of the year, and we will do that. And then we're going to turn around and attack these guys. Luckily for us, they are not particularly strong at the moment. It looks like whatever manpower they did gain in the last episode, they've already gone ahead and squandered. And uh, whereas on our hand, we have doubled what we began the last episode with. So I am very happy to see such things. All right, let's have a quick check in on the HRE. At the moment, we have three princes for our, for our uh, thing. We need to get a total of about... 24, 25, so that is a little bit of a problem, but we are working on it, so that is what we will do. So uh, let's see, anything else we feel like doing while we're in the uh, area? I think, oh, revolt, all right, that's a little annoying, but we should have a leader over here going ahead and uh, taking care of business. In fact, What's this? He's got siege ability, but no siege pips. What a terrible general. All right, uh, let's march you over here instead. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll also go ahead and, yep, yeah, we will bring these troops back up over here. We dealt with some rebels at the end of the last episode. Uh, Liege also said they were not willing to return some land to the, uh, to the Empire, which is kind of a little bit insulting, so uh, we will definitely be trying to do something there. Uh, but I think what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and pick these armies and uh, reinforce them a little bit and then attack Liege and get that done, because uh, that is just not acceptable. Alright, looks like we can sell some titles and things, but again, it's not really a concern. Uh, but what we will do... Ooh, what have we got? We have... What do we need? Hagia Sophia not filled. Catholic, Orthodox, Coptic, or part of the Muslim nation. Man! That's... That's annoying. Alright, and then obviously we can't use the mosque. That makes a bit of sense. Okay, well, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and start... No, oh, well, we can't convert it. What can we do? You know what? We can upgrade the fort. That will be very good. Make sure that uh, we have a nice, strong front line against the Ottomans if and when we plan on going back to war with them. So, let's just check these guys out at the moment. They have uh, 27,000 men. Let's go ahead and beef up... Actually, hang on a second. How many is in our combat width? Total of 40? Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do... 5, 10, 15. No, let's just go up to 25. In fact, no... Let's just make it 30. Uh, we'll go up to 42, and then we'll do a couple of cavalry as well. A little bit of manpower, not really too much of a concern. That way, if we do need to do anything in the HRE, we should be able to uh, overpower anybody who's kicking around. All right, now what is this? The many interests of Adolphus II. He is our leader. All right, our rules be free to spend time and resources of our state on the pursuit of his great interests. Okay. A ruler must understand the laws of God and men. Hmm. Uh, let's go. Let's see, scholarly or... Let's go in... Understand the laws of God and men. I think that's a good idea, simply because we have many nations to look after. If we get some kind of bonus to anyone who is of the same faith, we, that should help us out just a little bit in the Empire, or at least that's my plan. And what is this? They've sent us an insult? Kind of, what's wrong with them? They love us. We kind of like them too. I have no idea what's going on with them. You know what? Not my circus, not my monkeys. We, uh, yeah, we're not going, we're not going to be too upset. Oh, and would you look at that? Princes are now in favor. Fantastic. Okay, up to 15. Okay, okay. That is real good. And 51 against. Huh. Maybe a... Oh, free cities don't count as, count as princes. Hmm. 
Well then, if that's the case, uh, what have we got? HRE mercenaries. Yeah, where? Oh, this will allow, disallow HRE wars. Ooh. Yeah, know what? That's almost a decent thing to strive for, just to keep them under control and uh, not get rid of all of our princes. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, still work on... Yeah, we're still going to work our way on this one, because if we can get this, that is core creation cost, that'll be nice. And then the next one is the Imperial Growth Modifier. Yeah, once we've gone down the centralization route, it's not like they can really fight against us that much. It's uh, the only natural progression, so I feel like this one's going to be the hurdle, and then from there we're going to be doing a whole stack better. Or at least uh, that is my hopes and dreams. Alright, let's go, uh, let's see, you've got a general, you've got a general. Up to 162 mil power. I do wonder whether we should start focusing on it, just so we can burn down a couple of their forts a bit quicker. And maybe recruit a couple more generals, that's... Not necessarily the worst idea in the world. Yeah, at least uh, that's my thoughts. Uh, anyone who is at war can happily have uh, access. Again, if we say no, they'll get a little bit upset. And that's not really ideal to us. Alright, so how are we doing? Uh, revolt. Bosni. Hungary, you are more than capable of handling that yourself. Uh, that should be fine. Alright, we'll take you, and then we'll take on that last one there. Come on. There we go. Alright, that should be fine. In fact, uh, you know what? 90% February 22nd. Now we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can bail them out now. Hopefully our hopefully our missionary will stay there. Alright, Bulgaria. Let's go ahead. You will be Orthodox of Bulgarian culture. Sure. Let's go ahead and release them. And we will see how we go. Alright, so far. So good. It does look like they uh, joined the Empire. That is fantastic. So a little bit of extra free authority. Uh, apparently we are... We've got more heretic princes back in the empire. What the heck has happened? Oh, and centralization. We can go for it. All right. Core creation cost. Let's go. Looks like, uh, wait, 40 princes in reform and 20 against. Maybe we've just been at, oh, you know what? We might have had a few too, a uh, little bit too much aggressive expansion within the HRE. Maybe that's part of the problem. Yeah, we did have a fair bit from there from uh, taking stuff from the Commonwealth. You know what? I do not care. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. We'll lose all of our authority. You know what? Maybe we go ahead and try... Let's go down on... Uh, let's use our diplomacy. And we're going to go ahead and bestow some Imperial Grace. Uh, that'll cost us one. Yeah, we still have enough to do it. Uh, princes are still in favour... I think we can go ahead and maybe do one more. Actually, no, we can only swing nine of them. I don't think we're going to risk it. Let's just go ahead and take it. There we go. We've got that done. Uh, also, too, maybe we wouldn't have been able to do it at war. I'm not sure. I've never tried. But at least that is a one more problem sorted. All right. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. All right. Let's go ahead and dive on in. You guys have 300,000. No manpower. We are... More or less equal number, but we have reserves. All right, let's go ahead and start this war. Orissa, let's go ahead and declare. Jean Paul will come on in. We can then break up all of their. Uh, we can break up all of their little uh, relationships and then come back and nom nom. That would be fantastic. Oh, right, diplomat. Right, yes. All right, and back to war we go. Fantastic. Uh, who does not have a general? You know what? We should probably go ahead and remove a couple from whoever is over here. Uh, is... Oh, actually, you know what? We're wasting manpower there as well. Let's just cut you in half. Actually, hang on a second. Um... Is there a province that can handle everybody? 
close to Paris. Alright, you know what? Half and half, that'll be fine. We are going to go ahead and remove your leader though. You don't need a general as of this moment. Uh, you, my friend, you also do not need a general. And then anybody else? Uh, there's a naval issue. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let's just go ahead and pay for some uh, fort upgrades. That sounds like a little bit of fun. Uh, level 8, level 8. Yep, yep, yep. Just making sure that all of my peoples are doing well. In fact, you know what? Uh, you got some really nice uh, defensive positions. Let's go ahead and build you a big old fortress. We'll do that for you. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing uh, more than all right. Okay, that'll be good. Uh, let's also just quickly double check. Yeah, all of these are sorted. All right, either way, that's all done. Uh, let's go ahead and march uh, the leader over to, hmm, I guess there. And then uh, let's get that extra 16 stack. You know, we'll just uh, join you as one. We'll march you up over here. We'll march you over there. Let's bring you up over here. 80,000 men. You probably need a general. Let's go. Let's go for battling with you and free siege. Actually, who has the worst siege? You have the worst siege. Let's go ahead and give you that one. All right. And that should be that problem sorted. Now, we do have our navy coming on over. Uh, 34 heavies should be sufficient. Uh, we'll also be able to take that fort fairly quickly, I dare say. So I'm not really too concerned about whatever happens. We'll happily spend money to keep our people uh, doing their good old merchant duties. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. All right, tariffs on fish. Don't be daft. We'll take the power. Ooh, pursuit of a hobby. Lose. <laughs> Lose. Well, 1,700 ducats for prestige and diplomatic power. Well, you know what? What is money? We we don't really understand the concept at this level of wealth. That is absurdly good. All right. Loyal subjects. Oh, what's this as well? Hang on. Let's just check. Uh, protection against Wu. All right, whatever. Uh, diplo power or diplomatic reputation and annexation cost. You know what? A little bit of extra reputation never goes astray. We'll happily take that. And then let's march. Uh, maybe you up over here. And you over there. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Oh, and what else do we have? Royal patron. Oh, wait a second. Let's pause properly. Royal patronage. Let's see. Innovativeness for a whole stack of money. That's not really important. So, waste of that. Uh, gain 50 admin. Sure, we'll take admin as admin. And then let's go ahead and... Oh, hang on. We still have cores to make. What have we done? Oh, right. We made that estate. You know what? Sure. We'll call roll. We have the power. Power is good. Let's also make sure that we go ahead and... Hang on a second. Ah. Chan are trying to uh, take down our tiny little province over there. That's not a big deal. Let's bring our navy out. Uh, we'll go ahead and... What shall your mission be? I think we'll just tell you to uh, hunt enemy fleets in the East Indian. Sure. You can, uh, you can do what you want there. That'll be fine. Uh, this shouldn't take us very long whatsoever. Uh, yes, we will continue on paying for more influence with our little fellows. Oh, looks like we have some favors that we have carried. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go in and uh, cash them on in for some trust. There we go. We'll go with uh, 20. That seems good. Go ahead and do the same thing with Austria. All right, we do need another. We do need another fellow, don't we? Uh, get that sorted. Uh, 
Oh, that not five days at least. Even though we're not paying attention to the war there, a couple of days here and there isn't going to be that big of an issue. Because the turnaround is awfully quick. And then I think that should be final. Let's just uh, check out. What are we doing here? Four in favor, 63 against. Okay, yeah. Our trust is slowly building up, so that is helping us. Or at least it's uh, slowly starting to swing things. All right, and force serfdom or lose legitimacy. Let's go ahead and gain a loyalty. Let's see, what happens if we gain a loyalty with the estate? Actively have 5%. I think we can swing that all the way up to 10. So let's go ahead and enforce the serfdom. Eh, no, nothing too, nothing too beneficial. Just, just decent. All right. Uh, looks like uh, they're trying to uh, go ahead and keep their navies in port, which makes a bit of sense, but it's not going to save them. Let's go. So let's see who are we with at war with. Just you guys. Hmm. Well, I suppose. We should probably march you up over here, you over there. Yeah, I don't think we're really uh, too concerned about what's going on. Yeah, we're making very solid progress here with all of these. So, you know, let's start taking land just in case uh, anyone else decides to declare war on them. Make sure that we have access to our claims. That is something that I care about. We'll go ahead and move you over to the jungle. In fact, uh, you know what? This 65 stack, we're going to break down into... Hmm. Let's see. How many is that? Eight? So, let's go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that should be pretty good as far as carpet sieging is concerned. Oh, siege of somewhere else is over. Looks like that is Orissa is out. Phenomenal. All right, so before we go too much further, let's see what we are going to take from these guys. Uh, in our peace agreement, I think I would prefer it if you had no friends. So we'll go ahead and say hmm, goodbye to you. We're going to need to attack you anyway. Although, hang on a second. If they do need to attack you, maybe you are worth keeping as a friend. Uh, let's just check our missions for India. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some land from them, so maybe calling them back in could speed up our truce timer. Yeah, no matter which way we go. Hmm. Who else are you friends with? Persia. And... Oh, hmm. Well... I guess we're going to have to fight Persia at some point. No matter what we uh, choose. Although they're not too strong at the moment, so that is some kind of benefit in it. Okay, so uh, maybe we keep the alliance there. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, you can keep your friend here. That's fine. Let's get rid of all their other ones, though. Uh, let's go with... Malwa? Sure. And... Uh, well, Orissa won't exist. Uh, the Ottomans... Persia, we can probably out over there. Uh, Brom? Hmm. Hang on a second, who are you friends with? Should really make sure that we have some idea of who we're uh, dealing with. Ooh, you know what? Maybe you are the ones we keep and then we attack you this way. Yeah, that seems ideal. Yeah, fight, uh, fight the Persians further down the line. That seems more ideal. Let's go ahead and get rid of them then and then let's also go ahead and get rid of who else is left no one else okay so that's pretty much all that we care about everybody else is inconsequential so the rest we can just take whatever we have claims on uh let's go ahead and well basically we're going to spend a whole stack of uh deploy power to take all of these but it will be in our best interests We'll take what we can get our hands on. 
but uh, not too much more. In fact, yeah, I think that should be fairly fine. We'll take, yeah, take all of this, 23% overextension, that's not too bad. In fact, uh, that's particularly reasonable. Alright, and that's a 99% war score, so that'll take us a while to uh, get back to war with them. But again, if we attack over here, we can reset our truce timer. It doesn't matter about the length of this one. Okay, cool. That is our plan, so let's uh, keep on going now that we've got our uh, our overall war goal sorted. Looks like we're going to be taking a whole stack of occupations. It doesn't even look like... Oh, wow, they've, they've mercenaried up like there's nobody's business. 526,000 men. Oh, boy. All right, well, I hope they got the money because they're going to need it. Uh, looks like... Still no sign of them coming towards us. Are you guys at war with anybody else? Yarkand. Ah, so your troops are all the way up over there. Rightio. Well then, I guess we make the most of, uh... We make the most of this time that we have. Let's quickly swing you up over there. We're going to try and get a defensive fort. Just make sure that they have to go the long way round. That is the ultimate goal. Let's also get you to up over there. Yeah, we're going to push forwards as aggressively as possible. Uh, you're hunting enemy fleets. That's fine. We can also go ahead and upgrade ships, but yeah, that's not necessary. Uh, let's bring yeah, this next set of troops. Uh, we'll send one of you up over there. And then... Uh, level 8 fort. Hmm. Um, we'll just work our way across for now. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's just what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, let's make sure... What are we doing? Yeah, you're working towards the next fort. You're already working on that one. Uh, yeah, as soon as you get there, we're going to go ahead and blow that uh, blow that fort open. Cruces are expiring, which is not a particular problem. Uh, yeah, there we go. Minus 28%, that is 100,000 men. Let's make sure we grab this as quickly as possible. Up to minus 7 is fairly good. Hopefully, we can uh, get some of these forts as uh, efficiently as possible and set up a nice defensive territory and take away their core land. The fact that they have zero manpower is just going to absolutely annihilate their capacity to fight this war. So any attrition they take will be completely down the drain. All right, now the one question I do have is where is your capital? Where is your capital? Oh, have we taken it already? No, there it is. Jean Paul proper. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be one of our very next war goals. In fact, it's a level 9 fort. Uh, sure. Let's go. Let's start working on that. Uh, some more cannons is probably a good thing, although, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and uh, start working on that. That would be the goal. I don't think we care about that fort down there. It's not super important. Is uh good as it would be though. Let's march. Let's see, Persia's doing its thing. Have they pieced out of this war yet? No, they haven't. Okay, we're going to march you up over there into the mountains. Just make sure that we have a nice defensive uh, position just in case they want to tempt fate. Uh, siege is over. Phenomenal. On to the next one. And you know what? Those are uh, 24,000 men. 24,000 men. I think we need at least 27. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, at least 24. Because you can take whatever fort level they are and multiply it by 3 and that's how many men you need. So uh, yeah, you know what? We'll get you to do a quick U-turn even though you don't have any uh, general and all. Progress is progress and that is what I'm after. Alright, conversion successful over here. Okay, don't know why we're uh, being told that, but alright. Uh, let's go military access, we will hand that out. Military access, we'll hand that out. 
How are we doing with the reforms? Yeah, we're up to four princes now. Okay, that's a better starting point than where we were before. Alright, more conversions. I suppose that is a nice thing to have, but again, not too much of a concern at this stage. We're going to continue renewing our influence over some of these nations. Yeah, in fact, uh, we might even go ahead and uh, again, just try and get as much trust with these people as possible. 20 favors for 50 at 50 trust. Yeah, let's go. Wait a second. No diplomats. Hmm. Ah, yes. Uh, favors for trust. There we go. We'll slowly work our way through everything. It's a good thing, though, that we do have uh, that extra 33% gain. That is going to help us out in the long run for sure. All right, what have we got over here? Bengal, Shan. Yeah, they're all kind of trying to stay out of things if possible. You know, we may not be able to get a full peace deal with these guys. Yeah, I don't think that that's likely, all things considered. So you know what? Um, hmm. Let's just march you back up over here. Let's take you as well and get you over. Actually, you know what? That's probably not a bad blockade point. Hmm. You know what? 80,000... Oh no, we're not going to march that way. That that would be foolish. Alright, let's just mar march you around to whatever fort we can get our hands on. Yeah, alright. And that is going to be better. And uh, you know what? Yeah, we still have a lot of power. Let's make sure we're doing what we can. Let's go ahead and blow that open. Uh, we're going to go for all of these ones that have a... more of a uh, tactical ability for us to march our way around. Again, if we can uh, have easy access for our men to recuperate, to uh, to uh, join on up, that would be ideal. And it does look like we're getting close to cap on our admin power yet again. Okay, so... Question is, how much... Do we really want to go for a full peace deal? Maybe we go with something slightly smaller. Yeah, I don't want to fight these guys too much. We might be able to break them as it stands if we can weaken them here. Weaken their alliances. That would probably be uh, rather good for us. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to go for that full peace agreement, but we will go ahead and uh, get rid of all of their friends. That is certainly on the cards. Uh, what's this? Gov cap, admin efficiency, and dev cost. Um, hmm. I don't think we need to do that right this instant, but what we... Actually, you know what? Yes, we'll go ahead and take it. Only because... Actually, you know what? No, I can't justify that amount. We need to uh, go ahead and do a little bit of development over in our... in our uh, core provinces. We have an objective to get everything to 25 development in England proper. So uh, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll go ahead and spend what we can uh 17 yep that'd be 25 uh, that's already over one here and mm, one two three four excellent nine uh wait uh oh that's already 26 okay uh seven fourteen twenty Two, three, four, five. Four. Hmm. What else can we do? That's already enough. Uh, let's see. 14, 26, 25, 19, 23. Yeah, 23, 24, 25. I think we're doing pretty good. 26 already. 27. 1921, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, we'll slowly but surely be able to work things out. I think, uh, yeah, that should be good enough for now. Yeah, around two, three hundred diploid power. That'll give us enough just in case there is any terrible events. Not that I'm expecting to need it. Um, 
yeah we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do what we can here uh let's go and see what else can we do we need you know what we really need that capital maybe we should be sending you guys up over here instead yeah you know what that's gonna be what we're gonna do we're gonna we're going to turn around that eighty thousand stack we're gonna work on their capital that is a good couple of reasons for them to not want to peace out or to peace out so all of this would be to our advantage uh, let's bring all of you. Now uh, we'll send one of you here. Two, three, four. Oh, and it looks like they have a 27,000 men who are ready to uh, fight. But I don't think they're going to have much of an option. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That'll do nicely. We're going to beat up their armies as much as we can. Yeah, they're already down to below 500,000, and that's just from attrition alone. Really sucks to be them. But that is not my concern. Alright, let's see. 24th. Can we catch these guys? I know it is in mountains. But uh, that would be a good solid kill. So I think we're going to go for that. In fact, uh, let's just make sure that we... When do we arrive... 12th of December. Yeah, we don't even need to uh, shift consolidate. That is phenomenal. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what we can do here. Let's go ahead and blow open those. Uh, we'll do these as well. And then most importantly, the capital. Yeah, as soon as we can make our way through that capital, I think that's probably when we're going to piece on out. Uh, a little bit of this is just maybe a bit more than what we really want to take. Yeah, we're at 33% war score. We have ticking war score. We can get rid of these guys fairly easy. In fact, we could probably take a little bit of land from them if we so desired, but yeah, it's just going to have to be a, uh, a little bit of progress here and there. All right. Oh, looks like they had some reinforcements around. That is not ideal, but how are we doing? Let's check our stats. We've got 10% better discipline. We have almost a full pip of morale more. And then our tactics are also greater, but we took th minus three on the fight. Holy moly. All right, maybe that's not quite so ideal. All right, we're going to need to probably back on out of that fight. Uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll try and fight for a couple of losses. 11th uh, of January. We're going to cut down to speed 3 because I think we're going to win this battle here. Nope, never mind. They've trickled in reinforcements. I do not care to uh, care for that. Let's bring everybody out of there. So we lost how many men in total? Ooh, a good 32,000 men, whereas they lost... They lost a whole stack less than we did. Yeah, that was a very bad fight. Should not have done that, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, let's march. A couple of troops over here. The more of these uh, occupations would be good if possible. Again, we just don't want them to uh, get muster all of their strength together. That would be less than ideal. But hopefully, if we can take a couple of these forts, we should... We should be able to uh, go ahead and get things done. In fact, you know what? I'm even willing to spend a little bit of manpower here. 49% is pretty good. Uh, let's make sure that we are... Shift consolidating. Making sure that we're sending in a good, strong defensive position there. On... Uh, let's see. 57%. Hmm... We can just make our way there. That would be really good. In fact, you know what? Uh, let's bring a couple thousand men over as reinforcements. Just... Just on the off chance that we could get ourselves in a little bit of trouble. A couple thousand men is probably not a bad idea to have nearby. Yeah, I think that will be fine for now. But I think they're not exactly too keen on engaging with us if they can avoid it. 
Yeah, but you know what? I think we're probably going to have to deal with this in the next one. So if you do want to see that episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning into the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out. Thank you.